Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for my reaction to the Champions League group stage draw. As champions of Europe, we now know who we'll be facing to get to the last 16. And I think it's a pretty decent draw for Chelsea. It could have been easier, could have been much worse. Um, I think Chelsea have been pretty lucky in recent years to get some decent draws. And considering the way Pot 2 looked... I think Juventus um, isn't the worst team to get from that. Obviously, there's a lot at the moment about Cristiano Ronaldo and his future. Could he be moving to the Premier League for Man City? Um, obviously, I think that could change the dynamic of how we look at Juventus. But the Alvaro Morata derby, Juan Cuadrado coming back to Stamford Bridge. But of course, there is a very strong parallel with Juve um, to 2012. Uh, the last time we won the Champions League, having them in a group. When they were drawn out second, I have to say that I felt that we were going to get Shakhtar. And it was going to be way back then to 2012 um, in terms of that group that didn't go very well for Chelsea. We do hope this year it can be a lot better for us uh, defending the European Cup with Thomas Tuchel. Hopefully we're in a much better position to do so. Along with Juventus, of course, Serie A Giants, we have Malmo, who we faced in 2019, I think it was, uh, with Maurizio Sarri, um, quite early on in, in the knockout stage of the Europa League, beating them as we went on all the way to win uh, the title in Baku. And then it's in Petersburg, of course, Branislav Ivanovic and Michael Essien were helping out with the draw. Of course, that's a team that Branner played for in the past. Um, I don't think we've ever faced, I believe so, we haven't faced uh, Zenit St. Petersburg before in any competition. Um, so a bit like in, in recent years, we've faced some teams we haven't before, which makes it quite interesting. I think Zenit obviously is the one tie in terms of travel is a little bit of a strain but I have to say as I do when I'm looking at these draws I'm always someone who looks at the Premier League fixture schedule and looks at the fixtures especially after but before and they're not that bad of course we have to find out how it all works out in terms of who we face first I remember last year I believe the team we got from pot two was Sevilla and we faced them um, I believe it was the opening game wasn't it so that pot could potentially be the case where we're opening up at home to Juventus we'll have to wait and see so potentially when that away game is to Zenit it could be quite difficult but I have to say the games following and around mostly the Champions League group games are pretty favourable for Chelsea and as I say I think the opposition that Chelsea have got Juventus will be I think the team battling with us for, for first place absolutely and then beyond that Zenit St. Petersburg who are pretty experienced side in the Champions League but have sort of struggled to get out of the group and then of course Malmo who are the fourth place team Chelsea should be top in this group I mean it's pretty simple now I mean I think that with the confidence we have winning the Champions League and then the Super Cup, Chelsea really need to assert themselves now in this competition a lot more. We need to top our group and then whoever you get in the last 16, as we know last year, we got a pretty difficult draw, but we got through that against Atletico Madrid. Um, but I feel that Chelsea in the Champions League, even though we've won it, you want to do well. I think Chelsea want to put up a stronger fight this year in terms of defending our title. I think it says a lot about being one of the top European clubs and having one of the strongest squads in Europe, especially now with Romelu Lukaku joining and potentially some more recruits before we get this uh, competition up and running next month. Um, Chelsea under Turku, I think, should be seen as one of the heavyweights of this competition. And to avoid the likes of PSG, who have Man City in their group, Leipzig as well, that's a really difficult group. Liverpool, who, of course, were in pot two. They got um, Atletico Madrid, Porto and AC Milan. So that, that is a difficult group in itself. And Man, Man United, I think, and Chelsea out of the English clubs, I think will be happiest um, in terms of what they got because it is quite favourable. There's a lot of games in there, especially against Juventus, you know, struggled to win Serie A last year, trying to rebuild now um, once again in, in that league. So it's not as, I think it's not as intense as it could have been for Chelsea. And especially as we try and go for the Premier League title and start our season in the league very well, I think there'll be some nice games in there for Tuchel to rotate the squad a little bit more and kind of uh, make use of what is what is a pretty bloated squad. So I think a lot of players will be able to get in and out of games. And obviously the Juve games, I think, will probably decide uh, who finishes top, you suspect, because you suspect that Chelsea with the quality and the quality Juventus have, that Chelsea should at least be getting maximum points from the other two games especially at home against those sides. So pretty good. Of course, we're getting ready now for the uh, game against Liverpool and Anfield at the weekend. But it's always interesting to see 
who we get in the group as i say when things really get going you know at the moment we're slowly starting the season one game a week once you get the champions league going things get more intense midweek and kind of rotating the squad is going to be the challenge for thomas tuchel which you've done very well i do want to mention as well before we wrap up this reaction video obviously they were giving out awards as the as the draw was going on a lot of discussion about Jorginho and golo kante both being nominated for uefa player of the year men's player of the year uh, Jorginho obviously won it that was kind of leaked ahead of time we kind of guessed I, I, I think because they all had to sort of pre-record videos that Georgie would be getting it very happy for Jorginho great to see him win that award I think he absolutely deserves it for the year he's had especially on top of you know club winning the Super Cup and Champions League being a key part of Chelsea's uh, victory there but also of course winning the Euros of Italy being an instrumental player for them there as well what an incredible year it's been for Jorginho it really has um, in terms of the criticism in terms of the doubts around him at Chelsea see I think the way he's performed this year consistently and he's at the top of his game the peak of his powers at the moment and I think it really uh, tops off what is an incredible year for him in his career and let's hope he continues um, in this vein for Chelsea same with Ingolo Kante who of course won midfielder of the year fully deserved absolutely extraordinary run uh, for us in the Champions League last year on top of everything he's done for Chelsea and in the game already on top of that as well Edward Mendy goalkeeper of the year what an amazing signing he's been for Chelsea one of the best signings we've made in, a, in the last 10 years and his performances especially in the semi-final and final were absolutely world class they really were and Thomas Tuchel obviously to round it all off winning coach of the year no surprise men's coach of the year um, fully deserved the way he's taken Chelsea I think it's such a testament to his work that two of the three top contenders for UEFA Men's Player of the Year were Chelsea players and I don't think many of us a year ago would have suspected that and I think it tells you a lot about how much of an extraordinary job Thomas Tuchel has done and I think now we're going into the Champions League not feeling as outsiders anymore as the champions of Europe you know last time we won it there was a sense that maybe we put our foot off the gas the next year and we're kind of just happy to be champions I think there's a sense with Tuchel now that we really want to go for this title once again even though the focus I'm sure a little bit more this year will be on on sustaining a Premier League title challenge but it's just a testament to how dominant Chelsea have been in European competition this year and hopefully that'll be the same this year in the Champions League let me know your opinions about Jorginho winning UEFA Men's Player of the Year are you happy about that obviously as a Chelsea player N'Golo Kante midfielder uh, Edward Mendy goalkeeper Thomas Tuchel as the head coach and obviously about the Champions League draw and, and what do you think about it what do you think about the group what do you think about some of the other groups do you think Chelsea have gotten actually an easy ride this year in the group stage let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again